We are here right now at the Emirates Festival of Literature with the one and only world's best-selling author. He's written fiction, non-fiction, short stories, and you can see them in over 100 countries in over 40 different languages. I can't even think of 40 different languages at the top of my head. I'm with the one and only Jeffrey Archer. Hello. Good afternoon, sir. Hello. Who are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Do you even know half of the languages that your book is printed in? It's... Uh... In 47 languages in 121 countries. Um, so you have been the only author to have been number one bestseller in fiction, short stories, and nonfiction. If I were just beginning to write, would you say one of those is easier than the other? No, 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 no. If you're talking about number one on the New York Times, no. Or number one on the London Times, no. They're, they're very difficult. And I consider it a privilege and an honor to have done those three. What made you decide to write a children's book? I know you wrote three, right? Well, because my own children were at school when Cain and Abel came out. They were seven and five. And uh, they kept coming home saying, everyone's talking about dad, Cain and Abel. Uh, and they were obviously five and seven. They were too young to read Cain and Abel. So I wrote three books for them. Uh, Willie Visits the Square World, Willie and the Killer Kipper, and by royal appointment. I wrote those three books uh, for them, and they're the only children's books I've written. And I enjoyed them immensely, and I read them to them, and they said, oh yes, that's an author. Uh, and, and, but then they asked me if I would stop coming to pick them up at school. And I said, why do you want me to stop coming to school? They think you're out of work, Dad. <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh my goodness, but how different was it to write a children's book versus all these amazing well, books that you've already it's written? it's a different world and it's not my world. I did it for my children uh, and uh, it was fun to do it for them. I, I'm, a, I'm a, a novelist. And is there a one last word that you'd like to share with our viewers right now about joining things like Emirates Lit Fest or, or anything that you'd like to advise for people who still want to learn about being an author? There's no shortcuts. It's damned hard work. And it's a very great honor and privilege because people forget it takes six hours to read a book. You're saying to someone, give me six hours of your life. The young nowadays are lucky to give you six minutes. So I am no doubt that it's a great honor and privilege that millions of people take six hours. And the answer to your question is no, I will not give you one word. I will give you two. Thank you.